Hey guys, it's Ellen here with Brilliant Business Moms. Today I'm going to show you some of the powerful automation features that you can find in ConvertKit. I use ConvertKit a lot working with Bethann and we really love the automation features. It really helps us save a lot of time with the business. When you're logged into ConvertKit, go ahead and click on Automations. And as you can see, we have a lot of automation rules already set up, but I'm going to show you how to get those set up from scratch. There's a lot of different automations that you can set up in ConvertKit. For example, if one of your readers clicks on a particular link, you can have ConvertKit automatically tag them. This is really helpful if you want to see what your readers are interested in. There's certain subjects that you blog about or certain products that you have that you want to find out which readers are interested in what. You can put the URL here and give them a particular tag so that you can find them later. Other automations include automatically tagging users who subscribe to a certain form. You can even have it when a user subscribes to a certain sequence to remove them from another sequence or add or remove a tag. It really is limitless what you can do. And as Bethann showed you in another video, having these tags is really useful for when you're sending out broadcasts. You can be very specific about who you want to email. So you're not emailing to people too frequently and they're not receiving things that they're not interested in. One of the ways we really love to use these automations is integrated with Shopify. When you're in the automations area, you can click on integrations and you can see all of the different places that you can integrate your ConvertKit account with. I'm going to show you Shopify since that's what we use. As you can see, I already have a green check mark here because we've already integrated Shopify with ConvertKit. But if you were setting it up for the first time, you would just click on Shopify. You'd enter your Shopify domain name, hit next, and this would just say authorize convert to access Shopify. It's going to pop up and prompt you to log in and then you'll be connected and just hit next and you're good to go. Once you have your integration set up, you're going to go back over to rules. I'm going to go add a rule and let's say I want to give a particular tag when someone buys one of our products. You're going to click on purchase as a product, select purchases from Shopify, and then as you can see, it gives me the whole list of all the products that we have in Shopify. So I could say, you know, I want to tag anybody who's purchased Brilliant Pin Promotion and give them the BPP tag. Now I know one of the questions asked was whether you could do this for a whole collection on Shopify. While you can't select a whole collection at once, what you can do is you can add multiple products under one rule. So you could quickly go through and select all of the products that you want to give a particular tag. You'd put all of the products that you want tagged over here and then just have the one tag here, and then when you're all done, you hit save rule. This would allow you to contact certain customers who've purchased certain products of yours, and you can find out kind of what they're interested in. Another way we really love to use the automation rules in ConvertKit is with our sequences. If you go over to sequences, you can see Bethann has a how to make sales on Pinterest eCourse. She pitches her product later on in the course after she's given them free content. But we didn't want people who purchased the course to keep receiving the reminder emails afterward. So what you can do is when you're inside a sequence, you can go over to settings, scroll down, and you can exclude subscribers from the sequence. So we click on tags, and as you can see, we have the BPP customers and VIP customers automatically excluded from the sequence. So what ConvertKit does is when someone purchases this product in Shopify, it automatically brings a subscriber over under our automations and gives them a tag. Once they have this tag, ConvertKit sees that and then will remove them from the sequence so they won't get, keep getting reminder emails to purchase the course. You can also set this up under broadcasts. When Bethann does a webinar, she sends some reminder emails afterward to let people know that they have a limited time to purchase her course for a special deal. How we have it set up is that those reminder emails only go out to people that are signed up for that particular webinar and that haven't already purchased the course. I'll show you a quick example. This is a copy of one of the last emails that Bethann sends out after the webinar takes place and is really their last chance to purchase the course. So we select people to send it to is who would be subscribed to that particular form for the webinar. But we also have it set up to exclude those who have already purchased the course. So matching none of the following, either just the regular customers or the VIP. This means that this email will only be sent out to those who haven't already purchased the course. As you can see, the automation features in ConvertKit are really powerful and it's really limitless what you can do. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or contact us at brilliantbusinessmoms at gmail.com. Now it's your turn to head out there and be brilliant.